Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing uh, an indefinite integral which is of a special category and uh, I feel it's really important that I do this. So let's get to it. So the integral that we're going to do is, so let me call it i, is the integral of the square root of tan of x dx. So looking at it, since nothing can be done in terms of any observations or substitutions, so you know one, the only thing that can be done is taking the integrand to be u, because there's no other expression here and it's not even like an x squared term or like a quadratic term that we can you know complete the square or do some uh, trigonometric substitution. So the only thing we can do is uh, take the integrand to be a variable. So basically this implies that u squared equals tan of x and now we need to differentiate both sides. So 2u du is equal to secant squared x dx and uh, what secant squared x? It's nothing but 1 plus tan squared x. But we everything in, 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 in everything here is in the u form. That's what we need, right? We that's why we introduced a substitution for everything to be in the u world. So tan squared x in terms of u is well u squared is tan x, so square of that u to the fourth power. So dx then just becomes 2u du over 1 plus u to the fourth power. Now let's just write our integral in, term, in terms of the new variable u. So i then just becomes 2u squared du over u to the fourth plus one integrated. Now if you guys know this type you guys you, you guys must have totally noticed this but in case you didn't this is what I call a special type and uh, I think it's a uh, what this type suggests is quite ingenious. So this type is basically of the form x squared plus plus or minus 1 all over x to the fourth plus kx squared plus 1 dx where k is just an arbitrary constant. So now the next following steps what I do with this integral is you know can be done for an integral in this form now we we don't have a one over here right on, on on top we don't have a one here so I can just add and subtract one and put it in uh, the special form so I can write this as 2u squared plus 1 minus 1 all over u to the fourth plus 1 du and now I can I can split the 2u squared in terms of u squared and u squared so I have two integrals effectively u squared plus 1 all over u to the 4 plus 1 du that's the first integral and then the second integral is u squared minus 1 all over u squared u to the 4 plus 1 du and if you notice closely, both these new integrals are of this special type. I'm going to call this thing i1. I'm going to call this thing i2 and I'm going to do it separately. So let me do i1 with green. So i1 is basically u squared plus 1 all over to the fourth plus one du. Now basically what I do with i1 is is 
what should be done with the special type that I mentioned earlier. So first off, you divide numerator and de denominator by u squared. So you have one plus one by u squared all over u squared plus one over u squared. And then I would like to introduce another substitution. I would like to say let t equal u minus 1 over u. This is interesting because then dt is just 1 plus 1 over u squared du. And that's just our numerator, right? But the, the most brilliant thing again is when I take the square of both sides, this is u squared plus 1 over u squared minus 2 times u into 1 over u is just 1. So negative 2. And then if I say t squared plus 2 is equal to u squared plus 1 over u squared, that's just a denominator, right? So the entire integral just becomes dt all over t squared plus, I'll write 2 as root 2 the whole thing squared because then I can clearly use the tan inverse formula. So we have 1 over root 2 times the tan inverse of the variable that is t divided by the constant coefficient. Now I'll have to back substitute t because it's an indefinite integral. So 1 over root 2 times the inverse tangent of I have here u minus 1 over u everything by root 2 well you can add like a uh, constant of integration call it c1 now I'll just simplify the u expression a bit so we have we have u squared minus 1 all over square root 2u plus the constant c1. Now if you remember what our, our u was, well I, I remember that u square was clearly tan of x. I think that's that's sufficient information to get everything back in the x world. It's 1 over root 2 times the tan inverse tangent of u squared is just tan x so tan x minus 1 all over then u is just the square root of tan x and I can you know take the 2 and the square root the 2 and the tan in a common square root so 2 times tan of x under a root plus c1 yeah that's just that's just your i1 let's let's go on for i2 so i2 if I remember correctly was uh, the integral of u squared minus 1 all over u to the fourth plus 1 du now again this is of the of the special type so i will i will you know do the same steps that i did for i1 because even i1 of was of the special type so i'll just go ahead and divide numerator and denominator by u squared so 1 minus 1 over u squared du all over u squared plus 1 over u squared and then again I would like to introduce a substitution such that the derivative comes in the numerator so I would let w equal u plus 1 over u because then dw will just be 1 minus 1 over u squared times du and that's just a numerator but as I said the best part comes when we square everything so we have u squared plus 1 over u squared plus 2 now let me just write i2 in terms of all these new quantities we just have a dw on top all over well I just have uh, w squared minus 
square root of 2 the whole thing is squared right because this u squared plus 1 over u squared was nothing but w squared minus 2 and then I can just use the standard formula I think it's quite handy to remember some standard formulas 1 over 2 times whatever this uh, constant was times the natural log of w minus the constant all over w plus the constant plus c2 and yes you, you might guess looking at the numerator and denominator of this uh, natural log that we, we, we got this by partial fraction decomposition so yeah it's time for a painful back substitution 1 over 2 root 2 natural log of what w u plus 1 over u minus square root of 2 all over u plus 1 over u plus square root of 2 plus c2 and uh, 1 over that becomes 1 over 2 root 2 natural log of uh, well we have u squared plus 1 minus root 2u and the denominators will cancel out because it's a ratio u squared plus 1 plus root 2u so that is finally 1 over 2 root 2 times the natural log of what's, what's u squared well u squared was just tan of x right tan of x so it's tan of x plus 1 minus u was just uh, root of tan x so I'll write the root 2 and the root tan x under a common root all over a similar expression tan x plus 1 plus square root of 2 tan x plus an arbitrary constant c2 well that's just our i2 now it's time to combine both the expressions for, of i1 and i2 because i was just i1 plus i2 right so as I said I was just I1 plus I2 and what was I? It was the integral of square root of tan of x dx and what was I? Sorry what, what was I1? Well it was just 1 over the square root of 2 times the tan inverse of the tan of x minus 1 all over square root of 2 tan x I'll write the constants in the end separately and then what was i2 well it was simply 1 over 2 root 2 times the natural log of tan of x plus 1 minus minus uh, say this square root of 2 times square root of uh, 2 times tan of x all over tan of x plus 1 plus the square root of 2 times tan of x in an absolute value plus then c1 and c2 we can you know adding two constants you get another constant let's call it c so essentially we get this gigantic answer for the square root of tan of x now many other videos on youtube have performed this integration using partial fraction decomposition but what i find special in the in the in in in, in, a, in the form that i discussed or what i informally call the special form is is uh, is it in ingenious approach of you know 
dividing everything by u squared and then using the square property and then having the derivative on the top i mean it's just great observation it's truly an elegant method i would say and that you know we can apply it for any question which comes in that form i mean basically when you have like um a polynomial of the of of say the degree 4 in the bottom where, where you know predominantly the terms are x variable to the fourth power or variable to the second power and like a like a constant that's when that's when you know actually we can introduce uh, 1 and u square by you know adding and subtracting in the numerator but like the denominator is what determines whether a given question comes in this special form or not so that's it for this uh, short video guys please like share and subscribe have a great day